Hi, this is Todd Geis, and welcome to the announcement of Hyperlist 2.0. Uh, if you haven't heard about Hyperlist, uh, we'll have some links in the blog post where you can go learn some more information about it. But uh, basically what it is is a way of gathering um, data across of any FileMaker found set. It was originally developed to do just a single field, the primary key, which is very, very useful for um, things like virtual list and pickers and other common UI patterns uh, in the FileMaker world. Um, so FileMaker 13 added a list of summary field, which lets you gather found sets across an ID, uh, let, lets you gather the, uh, the ID across a found set. Um, we wanted to uh, use that when inside a Hyperlist and also added a couple, one more key feature. So this is what it does. So Hyperlist 2.0 adds two new features. One, it supports up to five fields. So you can now, instead of just gathering up the primary key, you can gather the data from up to five fields. And that's very useful in virtual list techniques and pickers, which I'll show in a, in a later video. Um, and that feature is really thanks to Jason Young at SeedCode. Uh, he's the guy who put together the support for gathering uh, multiple fields. Um, and you can configure the separator between those, between the fields and that for each, for each record. So uh, it makes it really easy to build, um, to build virtual lists in, uh, in that way. The other thing it does, it, it detects the list of summary fields. So if you uh, give Hyperlist the, um, a summary field, list of summary field, uh, and in, instead of just a regular field, it will automatically uh, figure that out, and it will just say, "All right, forget it. I don't need to do my hyperlist thing. I can just get, I can just grab the value of this field." And the reason why that's cool is it gives you one single way of dealing with uh, gathering a single field, and um, and the, and and hyperlist does it dynamically, which is kind of nice. So you can feed you feed hyperlist the name of a field, yeah, uh, um, and it detects whether or not it can take the shortcut use list of or it needs to go through its, its, um, its older method of generating that, that, that large list of data. So one method um, works for both, both scenarios. Uh, so that's it. So let's take a look at the demo. Okay, so I've opened up the, the Hyperlist 2.0 file. And we're just going to look at the, at the graph here so we can see uh, what these different results are and how, and how quickly they work. And then we'll look a little bit at, at the code. But what you can see is um, this is looking at uh, the standard old way of gathering lists by looping through records. And you can see that follows an exponential curve, and we've talked about this before, and eventually goes, it goes um, vertical. And somewhere beyond 20,000 records, you'll never be able to resolve that set. That's really old news, but I left it on the graph just to show the difference here. Um, at the bottom, very, the fastest one down here is Hyperlist using the list of technique. And you can see that uh, if you look down here in the bottom, we have 100,000 records in really like 1.2 seconds, which is, that's very, very fast. That's super nice. Um, so great way to gather, uh, to gather up IDs um, for all kinds of things. Um, and so then we have Hyperlist version 2.0. So this is just a single field. And you can see it's pretty fast, but not as fast as list of. It takes about four and a half seconds to do 100,000 records. So the advantage to hyperlist over list of in this particular case is we don't, we don't have to create a field. We don't have to create a summary field. Uh, we've already got the primary uh, ID in a, in a table, and we can just point hyperlist at it, and it can gather that record without having gather that same data without having to add that second field to the database. So um, one thing I didn't mention in the, in, the, in the slides, another great reason to have this technique is um, for doing perform script on server. We'll take a look at that in a later video. But you may want to gather up your found set of IDs, pass that list to the server, and do some kind of operation on it, uh, and, then, and then get the result back later or, or, or not, just let the server handle it. So gathering a found set of IDs is really important. Um, we now have list of, as we see here, is very, very fast. But we also still have hyperlist uh, version 2, where we just need to give it the name of the field, and we don't need to create that extra field in the database. So that, that works great. Now, um, the other two that I'm showing here on the graph are Hyperlist version 2 gathering three fields and five fields, and it's still pretty quick. And these are really great for pickers, and as I said, we're going to show that in a, in a later video. But uh, if you want to grab everything you need for a picker, right, and just get it all in one shot, this is a great way of doing it, and it's really, really configurable. So let's quickly take a look at how this gets configured, um, how, you wanna, how you can use it. So I'm going to look at this demo script here, and this is really just going to gather um, five fields across uh, 100 records. Pretty small found set, but it gives us, gives us the basic idea. 
So if we look at, we're going to call the script and we're passing in the field names, the five fields that we need to gather as a list. And that's all we have to do. We do that and Hyperlist will take care, takes care of the rest of it. So I'm just going to run that script and we'll look at the data that's, that's saved from it. And if I pull in the data viewer here, we can see that there. So that, so there, that, that's 100 records with the primary key first on the left and then five other fields all separated by the bar here, the vertical pipe. Now that separator is configurable, so if you want to use a tab, you can use a tab. Um, there's various different ways, different characters that you might want to use depending on your, on your scenario. So uh, that's it. That's a look at Hyperlist uh, version 2.0, and it's available on the modular, web, the modular filemaker.org website. You can go uh, check it out there, and we'll have links for that in the blog. Uh, thanks very much. Bye-bye.